good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Life of Logan TV. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new around here, I would greatly appreciate it if you will make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Also, once you hit the subscribe button, make sure that you hit the notification bell so you're always alerted whenever I drop one of these videos. Don't forget to thumbs up the video and comment whenever something hits home for you or if you just want to tell me how good of a job I'm doing on here. I was, well, y'all know me. I'm a, uh, in case you don't know, I am very big in athletics. Um, I'm an avid runner. Uh, I've been running cross country track since I was in, since I was high school, junior high, you know, uh, through college um, and kind of getting back into it and everything. But I have so many um, kind of like breakthrough moments or whatever. Like I feel like I'm cheating when I get a breakthrough. I feel like, dang, like I'm like, I'm already like a deep thinker and very cerebral. And then I get hit with a breakthrough and I'm like, wow, like cheat code, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm already walking cheat code, but I digress. That is not what this video is about. While I was on my, while I was on my run, I started thinking about investments. And I was thinking about like investments in just the normal term. We think about like in terms of like companies, hey, what's some companies to invest in and everything. And while I'm thinking, I started talking to myself and I said, you're investing in yourself right now. You are literally investing in yourself right now uh, while you're out here, you're working out your body, you're working out your mind, um, you're getting your spiritual uh, self together, you know, uh, you're getting your finances together or whatever, you're building up the surplus and everything or whatever, like you're doing all of these things right now. You're literally doing all these things right now, like you're investing in yourself and that's the way it's supposed to be. Because think about like a company like Apple. Um, they had to invest in themselves and bet on themselves before they can get other people to invest in them. It reminds me of when I was, I think I was, I was in junior high. I was in, mm, once I was in like the eighth grade, but I was um, a very, well, not was, I still am in some ways or whatever, even like through my adulthood, I'm just kind of like coming out of it and letting like my shell out and letting everybody see every side of me, you know, well, at least when I feel like it or whatever, but I'm a little bit more giving of my personality than I was back then. And during that time, like I, I liked school because I liked to learn, but I really didn't like being around the other kids. Um, not because anybody teased me or bullied me or anything like that. Like people was actually quite cool with me. I just felt so out of place. I felt out of place. I felt like mentally I'm more mature. Um, you know, cause I'm already thinking about like, I'm like, man, I'm thinking about like college. I'm thinking about like, shoot, I'm gonna be married. Um, I'm going to be doing all these different things or whatever. Like, I'm like, man, I'm not tripping off of this like little penny any stuff that y'all got going on here in this, in, in, in the halls of this school or whatever. Like I got bigger fish to fry. I got a bright future ahead of me and I'm already looking forward to it. And, but during that time, like I didn't even like riding the bus. Cause I was just like, man, I need just like a long time. I need some alone time before I get ready to have to go in and deal with these people. Like I'm gonna have to deal with these people for a few hours uh, out of my day anyway. So I need that time alone to get my mind right to deal with them. Almost like, well, not almost, like what we do now as adults. That car ride in the work, man, that is critical. That is critical because that is probably the, from the time you leave home, till the time you get to work, that's probably the last bit of, um, uh, of for certain peace that you will have for the next few hours. And I didn't like riding the school bus. So I would literally walk. I would literally walk from my house to the school, to the junior high I was going to at the time. And I remember it was one day and it was raining outside and um, she was my English teacher, my English teacher. 
Miss Wilson. I don't even know if Miss Wilson's still around, but if you are Miss Wilson and you happen to come across this, hey, it's Steve from eighth grade uh, English Lit. <laughs> but Miss Wilson saw me and it was raining, and I was like, man, I don't want to be soaked because rain wasn't in the forecast. Uh, and that's why to this day I still carry umbrellas with me where, wherever I go. I have a I have a plethora of umbrellas just stashed throughout the stash room, like my car, um, at my house, at my in my cubicle at work, like in my um, in my in my bag that I carry my laptop in and everything or whatever. Like I, I keep I keep me an umbrella now because of this reason. And it started raining just out of nowhere. And I'm like, I'm not about to be sitting up in school with wet clothes on, wet shoes and everything or whatever. Like, nah, 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 nah. So, again, here's where the running come in. I ran. I literally ran. And it was probably like about like, uh, probably like three quarters of a mile left. And I ran them three quarters. And I remember Miss Wilson, she had, uh, saw me because I had her for fourth hour. Yes, I still remember my class schedules. Um, I had her for fourth hour. And she was like, yeah, Mr. Logan, I saw you out there this morning. And, uh, you was out there running, boy. It started raining. You was out there running. And she then said that I was honestly dreading coming in here today. But then I saw you and I saw your effort to actually make sure that you got to school um, safe and on time that I said, you know what? That's all right. That's all right. And if Mr. Logan can do it, I'm going to go on ahead and be able to push through the day too. And she told me that, and she didn't realize like the impact that those words like had on me or whatever, but that's like, I was investing in myself at that time because it was just like, I knew what it was gonna take to get me in the right headspace to be able to learn and function at school at a high level uh, to get out the way and be able to make some of myself. And that's why I was thinking about it as I was out, uh, as I was out on my run, like you have to invest in yourself. Like you invest in yourself now, like companies do, because in the future, once you've invested in yourself, people gonna see that. They gonna see your greatness and they gonna go on ahead and sow into it. They gonna see your greatness and they gonna add on to it or whatever. Like granted, your cup is not, your cup is not empty or it shouldn't be empty. You shouldn't have allowed your cup to be empty because like it may like be like a little bit left. It may be a little bit more left, you know, maybe half full or whatever. Um, but somebody in the future, as long as you're investing in yourself and you're doing the things that you're supposed to do right now, somebody in the future gonna come along and they gonna love it, baby. They gonna love it. They gonna love all of it. They gonna love all of it. Even the things that you don't like, even the things that uh, you probably see as like um, flaws or like, you know, things that you kind of like shy away and don't want nobody to know. They gonna know it, they gonna see it and they gonna love it. They gonna love it because we invest in ourselves now so people can invest in us in the future because this fertile ground over here and fertile ground is always ready to birth a new idea, is ready to birth a new stream of income, is ready to birth a new positive path, is ready to birth whatever because it's fertile. And the one thing about fertile ground, fertile ground gonna stay fertile as long as you are properly taking care of the land and you're properly watering it. We must invest in ourselves. We must invest in ourselves. There's nothing wrong with having a good time and all this stuff. And even in my 20s, I, um, another story, I, in my 20s, like, I didn't really go out that much. Or whatever. Like, I would go out, but I was kind of like, I was kind of like weird. Like, I would go, well, not weird, because, you know, I'm me. But I would go out and I would go to like to clubs alone, you know, different kind of clubs, nightclubs, strip clubs, you know what I'm saying, lounges. I would just go to places like alone and give me a place over in the corner and just sit back and kind of just like people watch or whatever and be like, oh, okay, that's okay. This what y'all doing, this what y'all alone. Okay, okay, well, I'm not really missing anything or whatever, so let me go ahead and go back to what I was doing. Let me go ahead and, um, uh, you know, 
continue taking these online classes. Let me go on ahead and, you know, uh, pick up another job or two or whatever so I can go ahead and build up my reserve fund and everything or whatever because it's about grind now, have fun later because I already know that, again, the ground is fertile and I'm making sure that the ground is fertile because I'm tending to it. Because I'm tending to the ground. So I already know that in the future, I meet somebody. Hey, she gonna be she gonna be reaping the harvest or whatever, especially you know what I'm saying? Because obviously she gonna be sowing it to me, right? Because if I'm because if not, then we ain't got nothing to talk about. But that is the beauty of investing in yourself. Like it's no such thing as a bad investment when it comes to you. When it comes to you, like, aren't you worthy? Aren't you worthy of investing in yourself? Aren't you worthy of uh, foregoing things in the pleasure, the, the temporary uh, or instant gratification and the temporary pleasures of the present so you can experience lifelong pleasure in the future and be sewn into properly, be loved properly, you know, because you've taken that time You've invested that time into working on yourself, healing your inner child, figuring out what makes you tick, figuring out how you want to be loved, figuring out uh, the ways in life where you can improve and you can be better. You can be a better partner. You can be a better parent. You can be a better uh, child to your parents. You can be, you know, a better friend or whatever. And you're doing all of these things because when you get the right people in your circle, the right people come along or whatever, they gonna add something to it. You already one honey. They just gonna add something to it. You know, they gonna they gonna put like a little bit more in you. They gonna put like a little bit of sauce on you or whatever. Like and that's the benefit of investing in yourself. Because if you invest in yourself properly, it's like um it's like knowing yourself. When you know yourself, no, can't no, can't no any and everybody come and tell you about yourself because you'll stop them right there in their tracks. Like, nah, wait a minute. No, hold on. That is not me. Like, that's not me. I understand you may think that that is me, but I am here to tell you that clearly you do not know me. So that is not me. And I'm not going to allow you to put that on me because that just ain't something that I do. And we invest in ourselves we invest in ourselves so much uh, or we should invest in ourselves so much to the point where the ground in our life is just rife with just a creative energy just like hey I can have anything I want it's just a thought away anything I want is a thought away and that's the beautiful thing about working on yourself that's a beautiful thing about doing what you need to do for yourself and making sure that you have self in order because once you have self in order like you can conquer the world and i really do not only do i not only do not only am i saying that i believe that like i believe that because i've seen it happen in my life and yeah i'm about to see it happen again and this time y'all gonna see it happen so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to another video courtesy of Life of Logan TV. Hey, if you made it to the end of this, thank you so much. You are the real MVP. You are something worthy to be cherished, and I am so happy that our paths cross. Again, if you did not, or have not, rather, subscribe to the channel already, come on, what are you doing? It's free. It motivates the hell out of me and just keeps, it, it keeps the algorithm pumping and it opens this channel up for more eyes to see. So make sure you are hitting the subscribe button. Make sure you are hitting that notification bell, ding, ding. Make sure that you are liking the content, sharing the content with any and everybody who can use it. And that is everyone in this floating sphere here in the orbit. Make sure that you also are commenting, whether it's just like a positive comment telling me that I'm doing a good job, giving me some encouragement, or if it's something specific to this video or other videos, please make sure that you comment that down below. And I'm always in the comment section, you know, uh, I'm liking, I'm loving, I'm responding. Uh, so talk to me and I will of course talk back. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to Life of Logan TV. I pray that you're having a good day and I hope that you continue to be great. 
as always. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. 